So we got an interesting question from one of the videos we did earlier talking about how you can stream from your PS5 without the Elgato or a capture card. Kristen here asked, can you do that, but instead of using a laptop, can you use an iPad? So I thought to myself that that was an interesting question, Kristen. Thank you for asking the question. There is a way, I figured it out. So thanks to my guy Midnight Man here, he had an excellent video explaining how you can do this from your PS5 to your iPhone and stream that using the remote play, but I took it one step further. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can take Take your PS5 and stream it directly to your iPhone or your iPad and then stream that out to multiple platforms, not just one, but all of them pretty much. Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, anywhere you think you want to stream, I will teach you how to stream from all those platforms just using your phone and your PS5 without using a laptop. Let's get into it. Yeah. So the first thing you're gonna do is go into your app store on your phone and look for two apps. First, we're gonna look for Starscape Creator Studio. You wanna go ahead and, and download that app. It should be like the first one that pops up. Second, what you wanna do is also download PS Remote Play and go ahead and grab that app as well. This app will allow you to basically stream your PS5 screen to your phone or iPad, it's really cool. So next thing you wanna do is we, you wanna go ahead and open up the PS Remote Play app and in that app, you're gonna find directions on how to connect it to your PS5 and I'm gonna show you how to get that started on your PS5 or your PS4, uh, whichever one you're on. So you wanna go ahead and turn on your PS5 and go to your settings. You wanna come down to system and remote play. Once you get to that point, you wanna go ahead and enable remote play and then go down here to link device and you're gonna get a series of numbers and these numbers is what you're gonna type into the app in order to get it to link to your PS5. Once you get it linked to your PS5, you're gonna see your PS5 name down there or your PS4 name down there and you'll be able to connect directly to your PS5 with your phone um, and it's actually really neat. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and click here and you're gonna see that it's gonna to try to connect to the nearby uh, console. Now this might take a little second, it just depends on your network settings, but once you have it up, you'll see that it's up here. And um, you know, you just turn your phone landscape side and, and there you go, you, you have your PS5, or your PS4 on your phone. Some of you guys may already know about this. This is nothing new, <laughs> it's just something I've never tried to do. And well, it works really well actually. You can see once you're connected to your, the, the PS5 onto your phone, you can use the touchscreen buttons to, you know, uh, play any game you want, pretty much. And if you wanted to, though, because of the iPhone's connectivity, um, you're able to connect your PS5 controller to your iPhone. All you have to do is hold the PlayStation and the share button down and um, it will start to pair and you can go to your settings here. So you wanna open up Bluetooth here and once you have the little flashing lights happening on your PS5 controller, you should see on the screen that you have your PS5 controller here, a DualSense uh, wireless controller, you're gonna click that and then you're gonna have your controller paired. So when you go back to your PS5 that's linked to your iPhone, you can use the controller to play the game. So once you have your PS5 connected and everything's looking good there, you wanna go ahead and open up the Starscape app on your phone. And from the Starscape app, you should be able to see yourself here. What we're gonna do is go over to Screen Live and then hit Ready. Once you do that, you wanna go ahead and connect your um, Twitch, your YouTube, and or your Facebook, whatever account you have that you stream on, you wanna go ahead and connect. And once you do that, you're gonna hit next, you put in all your settings here. So you, you can do a lot of different settings, guys. You can do your 1080p, um, your bit rate. You should keep it somewhere between like four megabytes and eight megabytes. Depending on your internet speed, you don't really wanna go any higher. Or if you're like unsure, you can just do uh, auto, 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second, whichever your internet can handle. And then what you wanna do is um, hit next. You will see um, a text box pop up saying start broadcast. They'll give you a countdown and then your broadcast will start. Now this is all great for streaming to one platform, but I'm gonna show you guys how you can do this across multiple platforms at the same time. This is using something I like to use personally every time that I stream, but um, if you haven't heard of it, it's called restream.io. This is what restream.io looks like. It's basically a website where you can go create an account and then connect all your streaming accounts to that website. And it acts kind of as a server where you could share shoot your or beam your uh, streams to restream.io and it will shoot them across all of your streaming sites. So YouTube, Twitch, 
uh, Facebook Gaming, wherever you want to stream, it will stream out all of your uh, uh, streams, <laughs> basically, to those simultaneously, um, which is amazing, right? Once you get to the homepage, you'll basically, you know, create your account, and then once you get to a page that looks like this, this is basically the homepage, you want to go to your setup for OBS, Zoom, this little middle box, and then you're going to get all of your information here for uh, connecting any type of uh, third party streaming platform like uh, OBS or Streamlabs. But today we're actually going to use Starscape. Back in the Starscape app, what you want to do is when you hit ready, you want to go ahead and scroll down and you'll see at the very bottom, the last option is uh, custom platform. So you want to go ahead and click that. What you will want to do is go ahead and type in the platform name, which so we're going to do restream.io. And then what you're going to do is copy the exact thing that you see here, the RTMP URL. You want to copy that exactly how it is. You want to go ahead and put that in to the custom uh, URL spot. And then you're going to go and get your stream key, which you can just see your stream key, your stream key by just clicking it and it'll, it'll pop up. You want to type in exactly what that says there um, into the stream key. And you want to go ahead and hit next. And then next again, after you put in all your settings and then you want to hit next and then you will start actually streaming once you have all that set and done. Now, once you hit that, you're ready on your in your phone in the Starscape app It's going to start pushing out your stream uh, to restream.io. And from there, it's going to set you live pretty much for all your platforms that you have on. So you want to be sure that you are completely ready. Uh, when that happens. Now, every time you do leave the PS remote app, it's going to disconnect you from your PS5. There is a setting in there. If you go to the little gear at the top of your uh, app here, you can say background stream. It will allow you to stay connected while you're switching between apps um, up to five minutes, as it says. All right, Kristen, I hope that answered your question. And uh, if any of you guys got value out of this video, go ahead and Samurai slice that like button down below. And if you aren't already restreaming your streams to other platforms, which I, I highly recommend you do, especially if you're just starting out, go ahead and use my referral link down in the description to get a $10 credit for the Restream.io subscription. It's like $15 a month. It's not bad. So that you can stream to all of your platforms that you want. Trust me, it's something you really want to do if you're starting off. Like, huge, huge pro tip there. Also, full transparency, I don't actually stream this way. I actually have a PC that's powerful enough to stream 4K, 60 frames, you know, to all these platforms. I actually don't recommend to stream this way, but if you don't have a capture card or you don't want to purchase one, um, using your phone is very, very simple actually. So, but hey, if you're just starting out, I don't, I don't blame you. This is a good way to start. So start however you can. Anyways, that's going to do it for me, y'all. Hope this was valuable for you. Uh, make sure you just samurai slice that like button and subscribe for more streaming tip videos. And I will see you guys in the next one, which is right over here. You should go check it out or over there. I think it's over there. You should, you should check it out. Just check it out. All right, I'm gone.